So we just concluded the Turnix Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup draw and we're joined by our draw master, uh, Stephen Cregan, and thought we'd uh, just discuss a little bit about the, the Colts involvement mm. in the, the Turnix Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup. Um, obviously, Stephen, you're a, an advocate for this as well, having been a, a coach at this yeah. level and it, you've seen the development that it's, it's led to the players and the, the difference that it's made to them. Listen, I think it's crucial for them. You know, crucial for them in the respect of getting to play against um, senior teams. Um, you know, you can send players out and loan, but I think it's nice for the young players to be in their own environment, under their own coaches, under their own structure, their own style of play. Um, I think to play against senior teams, full-time teams, part-time teams, but playing men's football. Yeah. You know, we speak about progress and how we can bring young players on, how we can make them better. You know, from my own experience of being involved in it, the young players every summer, you know, when the draw was coming up, getting through around the excitement. We used to sit and watch it on Facebook together, you know, listen for the draw to come in to see where we're going to go, yeah. what we're going to face. So I think there was a general excitement because it was their own team, it was their own setup, it was their teammates. Players have been with, you know, someone for seven or eight years. So to get that chance to go and play against senior teams, pick your wits, and we had success at Motherwell, beating teams, I think it helps them grow. It yeah. helps first team managers look and think, I can trust them. I can now see them playing a little bit more. They can cope with the situation. So, I mean, for, you know, for me, it's a no-brainer. But you get teams, you know, who may be part-time, full-time, further in the leagues, don't like it. For me, I don't understand why. And again, you, you sort of see that. that it's, does it work as a, as a transition for players as well? Because obviously playing uh, reserve football or under-20 football as it was previously, and then taking that step into, into men's mm -hmm. football, as you say, but you're still doing it in the environment that you're, you're comfortable in is, 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 a, is a huge benefit for them. Well, I think it is. Yeah. And I can only talk about the club at Motherwell, you know, because I worked there, the likes of David Turnbull, Alan Campbell, didn't have to go on loan. And, and effectively, if you look at when they really, you know, made their places in the first team, it was after the Challenge Cup. You know, David played against, I think, Sligo Rovers last year, didn't play for the reserves again after that, continued in the first team. The year before, Alan Campbell played against Crusaders in Belfast, and the manager was at the game. Alan didn't play for the reserves or, or the under-20s after that. He yeah. stayed in the first team. So not every young player has to go on loan. The manager sometimes just needs to see a player, a young player, out with their comfort zone, see them in an environment, how they cope. And when you have so many young players together, what you get is they have to learn it and they have to work it out for themselves. If they play on a loan team and have a couple of experience around about them, uh, experienced players, they can almost hide them and look after them. But if you're a young player, you're in the spotlight, you have to look after yourself, you know, the crowds we had at Motherwell were decent as yep. well. So it was a nice to see how they would cope. Yep. You know, sometimes reserve football, youth football can be too passive. You know, it's almost just tippy tappy and there's no real contact, there's no real meaning to it. And you can see already that I think some uh, senior clubs have pulled reserve teams out this mm -hmm. year. They want to go and try something different. So I think the, you know, the Challenge Cup is different. And it's, uh, you know, for me, it's vital for the young players going forward. I would love eventually to see court teams. Mm -hmm. That will set the cat amongst the pigeons. Not everybody agrees with it. But you speak to a lot of coaches who work at the youth level that's what the young players aspire to be, and they think that's only. I think it's the only way they can learn to be first team players. In addition, you, you saw that last year with uh, Ross County as well, who obviously had a, a, the dual manager mm -hmm. of uh, Stephen Ferguson and Stuart Kettlewell, who had managed at that level and then are now full, uh, are, are now the managers yeah. at Ross County as well, and they certainly approached the the cup final last year with a, a real professionalism to it against what was a possibly one of the biggest football teams I've ever seen in Connors Key Nomads. Yeah. Connors Key Nomads. But again, they certainly seem to, to view that experience as a positive one is that in their time as managers as well. Well, it's because they've been on the other side of being oh. uh, reserve managers or youth team managers and they appreciated what it meant for their young players to get in. So last year when they entered the competition, they treated it with respect the full way through. You know, mm -hmm. we played in the quarterfinals at Fir Park and they had the likes of Brian Graham and Ross Stewart. Um, you know, guys who are, are now playing in the mm -hmm. you know, Scottish yeah, Premiership. Yeah, so, so they were respectful to it because they know what it means and they know what it means for the young players. So, um, listen, if everybody could have the same view, it would be great. Sometimes you try and be innovative, yeah. you try and change things, and it doesn't work because people don't like change. People like old-fashioned structure. I think this is something different. You look at team, uh, you know, clubs around Europe who have B teams or Colts teams, you know, because again, you can work within your own environment. You can work within the structure. You know what they're getting. You know their workload. You know what position they'll play. All this stuff of working together, learning together to eventually get players. We need to make Scottish internationals here in Scotland. We need to make them. And I think this is a pathway that could eventually expand and get young players playing more first team games or first team experience quicker than what's happening at the minute. That's great. And uh, in addition, a, a little bit closer to, to your original mm -hmm. home as well, uh, some uh, Northern Irish teams in the draw today as well. Well, uh, I think Ballymena United will be absolutely delighted yeah. um, because they've drawn home to Rangers. And I think there'll be a big uh, Rangers population in Northern Ireland. They'll want to go and see yeah. you know, the next set of Rangers players coming through. 
they don't get the chance to come over to Scotland and watch them in, in reserve games or, or friendly games. So I would imagine that will be a decent crowd. I would think Balamain will be pleased because financially it will be good for them. Yeah. I know they played in European competition this year. They played four four games in Europe, so they've made good money on that aspect. It's a nice little setup. Um, it's going to be a decent crowd. It'll be a decent test for Balamina and a really good test for Graham Murdy. He'll yeah, be looking absolutely. at that and thinking, you know, he's managed the first team as well. He knows what it means again to try and get uh, young players into the first team. So he'll be excited about that. I think Gary Hamilton and Glen Athan will be a little more disappointed. I think they go to for Martin, which is absolutely miles away. So guys <laughs> watching this guy, it's miles away from Glen Athan <laughs> and from Lurgan. But, you know... Again, it, it's an experience. It's something Absolutely, different. Yeah. You're taking players out of their comfort zone. You're taking players in the environment to play against players they might never play against uh, again or have played against before. So I, I don't think there's an awful lot of meetings between them and, and for Martin in the past and possibly not on a, a huge number in the future as well. So it's, no, a, uh, it's a proper programme collector. Yeah. And if you're a supporter who goes and follows your team you know, in Northern Ireland or even the Republic of Ireland, I think Waterford and Bohemians uh -huh. are as well. I know there's uh, National League teams and I think Welsh teams, but you, know, you, you play the same teams every year. It's nice to have a little trip away, yeah. do something different. You know, again, fans, you know, going out with their comfort zone, they're going to experience something different. So, long may it continue. Brilliant. Thanks very much for your time today, Stephen. Thanks very much for performing so admirably in the draw as well. So, thanks Pleasure. very much. Good Cheers. Man.